bodies of Polly I want to attach the uh, this thing I don't know I still don't know what that is okay so right click to get out of the attach mode and now I'm going to grab my linking tool up here on the top left and I'm going to link it to the head that's all it is from here on out is linking I'm going to link the neck to the neck the body to the body or well, I guess to the spine the upper leg to <laughs> pain in the ass upper leg to the upper leg same on this side a knee and shin or calf to the knee and calf of the bipad and of course the foot to the foot and I'm going to test and make sure that um, our linking is correct I grab the biped and I'm going to turn off character creation mode and I'm going to make sure that everything is attached um, we didn't create anything for the tail which is fine we're just going to leave the tail as it is I had it wagging in the original video um, this is the original walk cycle of the Kiwi bot. See how the tail wags there? Um, you see the design is a little bit different this time, but you know it's because we rushed through it. Um, so the tail wags in that one. I'm not gonna worry about this and this one. And it's good to uh, save these things. I haven't saved yet. I've been forgetting. So I'm going to hit Control S. Uh, to the Kiwi Crowd Destruction Tutorial Place. I'll call it a Kiwi Skinned. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a walk cycle for the old Kiwi bot now. Uh, this means I'm going to hide the skin so I can just focus on the skeleton. I'm going to turn this back on. And make sure my S curve is on here. Like you can change the frames for no easing or specific types of easing so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to position him in step one in the first position uh, which means that I'm going to make him at full stride here like that and I'm going to Move the blue back. All right, so that's a full stride for him. I'll roll this forward here. Same with the neck, and I will give the head a keyframe as well. It actually keyframes when you move the neck, but again, OCD joy for me it's okay I'm going to animate this so I want to go into position the next position uh, we'll give him a, it's a 20 frame walk cycle people say you should do it on uh, odd numbers like threes is good I, I have trouble with that so I'm just going to slide this foot 
into this position and I can actually uh, if I take this number here copy I can get it exactly where that one is paste enter I take that same number copy and this is just all so it loops properly um, you don't normally have to worry about this paste shift and drag that into 40 that'll be the length of our walk cycle now I'm going to give the legs a little bit of character uh, let's see so green is down which means on 10 I will put this foot down in the middle I'll raise up my biped and then on 20 I will all right I should just did that easier Take the foot, go through the steps. Okay, so this is lifting off. So I lift off, I like to put a maybe 20%, 20 percent, 20 degrees. I'll lock this one at zero degrees. Twenty, and then twenty again. And there's no uh, there's no rhyme or reason to that really. I just do it so it looks fun or whatever. So it looks whatever, whatever your preference is is what I'm trying to say. There's textbook ways of animating. I rarely follow that. I just like my things to look cool. So 10. I'll raise that to uh, 9. Pow. That seems about right. 